On the previous video, I took a look at two giant companies that were down today while the market was red. But now I want to take a quick look at some heavy growth stocks that are down today and are pretty down from their 52 week high. The first stock we're going to take a quick look at is Airbnb. And from its for the day, it ended about almost 2% down 1.8 to be exact. And the second one we're going to take a quick look at is Square. That one closed about 1.6% for the day. So for both these companies, we're going to take a quick look at recent news, fundamentals. We're also going to take a quick look at technicals, and I'm just going to share my overall thoughts. So Airbnb, right? Ticker ABNB. This is a recent IPO, but from its all time high closing, the stock is down about 39.1%. That's a crazy, crazy pullback, right? Airbnb definitely seems pretty interesting as the world is opening back up. I mean, we're seeing huge, huge, I, I, me personally, traveling a nice amount every time i go what are we looking for with my wife with my friends the next airbnb or airbnb to stay on july 16th of 2021 a firm came out and says that they believe airbnb is likely to book higher quarter to revenue on pent up demand and i can definitely see this right i mean every time i'm looking for some place we're either listing it or, or saving it and if we wait too long that place is usually gone so i can definitely see the huge up pent up demand right now I can definitely see why some investors are excited for the company. Analysts expect Airbnb's quarter two revenue to be $1.28 billion compared with its previous forecast of $1.25 billion. Some other news about Airbnb right now. They recently on July 13th of 2021, they got a price target update from from 119 to $172. Remember the stock right now is sitting at $131.88. So what do we get when we buy Airbnb? So Airbnb right now, unfortunately, the company is not gap. It's not positive in gap earnings, but they are positive in cash flow from operations, which is one thing I do enjoy. They're also expected to grow their revenue 22.2% on average for the next three to five years. So a nice growth company. They also have a very, very strong balance sheet, right? Cash is short-term investments of about 6.6 billion they have debt of about 2 billion so their positive cash of about 4.6 billion i'm liking that right now they have plenty of cash to continue their overall their overall business and this is a market cap of 81.7 billion dollars the only thing i want to say is sometimes this is a double-edged sword right a good portion of the business is owned by three insiders they own roughly 33 percent of the business this is the co-founder, the co two co-founder, the three co-founders actually own about 10 to 11 percent each, roughly 33 percent. The reason I say this is a double-edged sword, you always like to see companies that are owned by investors, but when they start to sell off little by little, for maybe some they want to use the money for something else, the market goes crazy and, and it really creates a huge volatility. So it's a double-edged sword. If we take a quick look at Airbnb in form of technicals, I want to say right now it's sitting at very, very attractive levels. This doesn't mean the stock price can't continue to go down, right? It definitely does. I just believe a good portion of the risk has been eliminated right now. Um, now let's take a quick look at the second stock. This is going to be Square. But first, let's take a quick listen to today's sponsor, a great reason why I'm able to provide so much content to you guys for free. I want to thank the Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels you guys know i love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks and right now i have a discount for one of my favorite services the fool offers through the motley fool stock advisor services you get access to ton of expert stock picks every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals stock advisors average stock picks have done amazing returns if growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stock advisor is right for you. Thanks again to The Motley Fool and now on to today's video. So Square right now is traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker SQ, sitting at $233.69. It was down 1.6% today. From its 52-week high closing, the stock has also seen quite a correction. It's down 15.5% not as high as some other growth stocks because square is definitely a business that can make it both in a opening play and a closed economy right with their online 
first with their trading platforms with the online platforms that they help for e-commerce businesses and then when things are opening up all the products and solutions they have for your regular shop and your regular stores so square is definitely a great play for both type of scenarios market cap of 106.42 billion dollars so there are some recent news about Square that I really like, and this is one in my portfolio. And after recent, reading some of these recent news, I'm even a little bit more bullish on Square. First, on July 14th of 2021, Square acquires Crew to strengthen workforce management offerings. At first, when I read this, I'm like, Crew, what kind of crew did they pick up? How many people were in the crew? But no, Crew is actually an application that deals with communication it's kind of like a discord it's kind of like a, just an online workforce you can do simplify communications when you want to talk to your co-workers instantly see who's read your messages and just a one place for team communication you can also do stuff like manage shifts and meetings you can track tasks and give kudos you can also view square sales so it's a pretty cool integration especially if like you already have a small business and already using square right you don't have to go and download another type of messaging application right there's Right now, we can def we definitely know a few messaging applications out there that are available. The great thing with this is in within the Square platform, so it helps out a lot, especially if you are a small a small business with around ten employees and don't want to jump from app to app. Another thing they announced on July sixth of twenty twenty one. Square announces early access program to their French business. That is pretty right now. It's only limited to a few to a few businesses, selected businesses. But this is marks the first time Square is available to French merchants. Pretty big move as they are expanding international. Still huge growth for the company. Next, Square on July fifteenth of twenty twenty one. Um, through some tweets, they uh the Dorsey right he mentioned that Square is going to try to create a new Bitcoin focused business. It still not much information in that investors are all over the place about it and this is after for example on july 8th of 2021 square mentioned that they plan to make hardware wallets for bitcoin so we can see square is definitely trying to grab all types of different market shares with cryptocurrency with strengthening their their solutions to businesses and all that so i can definitely see the growth in this company like i mentioned after reading some of these news in the past two three weeks very uh, more and more bullish on the company so future growth square is expected to grow 13.2 percent on average for the next three to five years the company is profitable in gap earnings they're also positive in cash flow from operations so fundamentally sitting at a great place if we take a look at their balance sheet they have four billion dollars in cash 3.7 billion dollars in debt they are almost a one-to-one -one ratio and maybe after this quarter they might be a bit leveraged i want to say that's okay based on the fundamentals that they have if we take a quick look at ownerships the ceo himself is the biggest shareholder and owns about 10.7 percent of the business again like i mentioned that double-edged sword if we take a quick look at technicals i want to say square is definitely not overextended at all sitting at good a good portion of the risk has been eliminated of course that doesn't mean the stock price can't continue to go down that's always a possibility but again i do believe a good portion has been eliminated now my overall thoughts i do like both of them i have square in my portfolio makes me a little more bullish like i mentioned airbnb is one i'm keeping an eye out but remember guys the market can continue to go down so it's always good to have a plan maybe have some cash outside just in case the market continues to go down 